where are you at with your mental skills? Do you get frustrated a lot? Sometimes you're amazing, yet it's the mistakes that cost you. How confident are you? Some days, yet you sabotage the next. Let's look at the fundamental of performance, and that's the inner belief. Where are you at on the doubt and trust scale? If you really go out into the tennis court and don't believe you can do it, of course, that is the critical thing. Belief sets the limits. It's the inner programming that determines your performance. Because under pressure, you can only perform as well as you really deep down believe is possible. That's the fundamental performance indicator. And then during performance, it's our inner game which determines what goes on. So if we look at the different bodies, we have our mental and our thoughts and our processing and the physical body, what we can actually physically do, the muscles, and then our emotional body, which is what's occurring emotionally. But that's tightly linked to our unconscious programming because our inner stuff is unconsciously a feeling. So if we get out of the head and just instinctively let the muscle memory do it, then that is our unconscious programming. So there's that strong link to our emotions there. Yet the key thing is, if we look at our pain body as the fourth body, that is the determinant of so much of our motivation and lack of motivation and how we can self-destruct. So it's understanding the techniques to use the pain body positively rather than letting it self-destruct or we self-destruct when our pain body comes up. Because we don't get what we want in life, we get what our pain body and unconscious programming creates. Yet a lot of the time this is hidden, we don't actually realise what's going on there which is the key to our performance, understanding the tools to use the pain body. If we look at this inner game focus, we've been talking about our inner game so far, our thoughts, feelings, and inner beliefs, and our programming and what goes on in the inside. And that's what determines what happens on our outer game, the behavior, actions, and outcomes. So during a match, if we start overthinking or focusing on the outcomes and the outer game, then our inner game falls apart. So what we can, can control is our inner game. We can't control the outcomes. And this is the key thing, is letting go of the outcomes to really be in flow and in the zone is being aware of our thoughts, feelings and inner beliefs. What can we control and observe as opposed to if we're totally focused on the outcome and really have the attachment to the outcomes or certain behaviours, then that's when we lose the plot and we actually, our inner game starts to fall apart.